Hello everybody and welcome back to Dirt Road Nation. I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. <laughs> we are the Dirt Road Man. We have a gremlin this time. And it's playing with shit. <laughs> Today we are reviewing the Ashton Virgin Sun Grown uh, Cigar. Yes, the Ashton VSG. I saw something while I was looking up info on this that said it was like one of the top ten rarest cigars in the world. So this is supposedly in the top ten rarest cigars in the world? Yeah, I don't know if I buy that. Fifteen apiece? Ish, yeah. Thus, I don't know why, uh, if I buy that. Define rare. There are only 200 million of them ever made. <laughs> yeah. Find me my Man of War Maduro Perfecto, please. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, this has an Ecuadorian sun grown wrapper. And five year age Dominican lawn fillers, as well as a Dominican binder. Hmm. So, I think the weirdest thing, aside from the dark chocolate and the black pepper that I'm getting off of this, is some like cherry ish notes, which I would normally attribute to the whiskey, except the whiskey I am drinking has nothing cherry about it. Maybe it just pairs with the whiskey to create some cherry ish note? Maybe. Are you getting that? Am I going nuts? I'm getting something. I, I can't quite pinpoint. All, I also I mean, I can't. That's a long time ago, but. I also can't even really taste much on this whiskey, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the. So far, like, it, it draws well. It's been burning very evenly, despite the uh, slightly uneven fashion in which I lit it. This cigar got in the top 25 cigars of 2020. Oh look! They only named three tasting notes and they're the ones I just named. That's cool. Except they said black cherry. I don't know what black cherry tastes like. Does it taste like, like, eating a cherry but also getting your wallet stolen? Or <laughs> We were on the same page. I just pictured that uh, pizza video I sent you earlier. Oh. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that was good. <laughs> Son of a bitch. We went after the Japanese today, and I guess we're going to go after the, the, uh, the black people too. Don't worry. Watch enough of our videos, we even get to ourselves. It'll be fine. Yeah. Um, Good lord, if I ever try to run for work for office, it might fuck. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Where are you at with this? You got any different notes? Anything you can really say about it? Or are you just kind of in a weird spot today? Uh, I don't have anything new than what you said. I'm I'm even drinking water today instead of pop. Maybe that's weird. Maybe that's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, Senses are violated. There is a bit of a. Did you say leather? No, I did not. Get, like a like a bit of leather. You know, like those uh leather strings. Mm-hmm. You ever chew on those as a kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. A kind of bitterness there. That's... That's about it. Yeah, I didn't get any leather notes, but these are, like, pretty standard-ish Maduro notes. Kind of surprising for the Ecuadorian wrap wrapper. Uh, Ecuadorian wrappers tend to be more along the natural line, yet we still tend to like them, so... That's pretty cool. Uh, I was also trying to pull up some stuff on the Ashton brand here. I had some pulled up and I closed the tab. I know they started in 1985. Okay, good year. So I've heard. Ah, uh, 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 handmade in the A. Fuente factory. Oh. In the Dominican Republic. 
<laughs> it has been in the top three selling brands in the U.S. for 30 years now. Wow. It's basically like one of the most popular non-Cuban cigars in the world. How is it so rare? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's that rare. I'm not mm -hmm. sure I buy that weird headline that I read. <laughs> the company is founded by a guy named Robert Levin. And I mentioned about 85. Mm -hmm. uh, he was born in like the 50s. And he grew up working in a cigar shop in Philly. Before nice. he like really got into this. Now, uh, he partnered with the Arturo Puente family, Carlos Puente specifically, and Carlito Puente, uh, and started making their cigars. I do believe, and I will look it up for the back half to be certain, because I just kind of popped up the page that I had accidentally closed, uh, that that is the A, A Puente is an Arturo Puente. Hmm. Uh, He's also kind of started handing it off to his son, who is named Sophia. Sophia? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. So, sorry if I'm not. But, obviously they've built a very, like, solid reputation for themselves. They do tend to be pricier cigars. These are not that expensive, but I will say it's, it's really good. So yeah. far. Yeah, I really like it at this point. I don't want to drag this on too far because we have the back half to shoot, and I'll talk more about whether or not it's it's the Arturo Fuente family because I didn't catch that before I started rereading that article. Okay. So, we'll be back in a second for the back half. Hello and welcome to the back half. Okay, so this cigar. The cherry thing dropped out very early on. Mm -hmm. um, the leather came almost front and center, really. Yeah. The dark chocolate kind of dropped away, and so I ended up with like leather and pepper. Super fucking pleased with this cigar, to be honest. It burned really smooth, it burned evenly. The only time I had to correct it was because I let it go out because I left the room. So, I don't really blame it for that at all. Now, on, uh, oh shit, you let them know what you thought before I get to what I was going to say. Um, with all, all of the tasting notes you, you hit, uh, I had too. You got um, that cherry at one point? Yeah, yeah, it, like right after we stopped. <laughs> um, yeah, I was definitely very pleased with Pretty much everything about it. One thing I did notice kind of in the back end here uh -huh. is I started getting hints every once in a while of like a black tea note that I really enjoy too. I don't know if it was because of the whiskey we were drinking at the uh, in the middle of it, but I got like a almost like a Casey past masterpiece barbecue flavor. Oh, like just like a nice. quick little, and then it was gone, didn't come back. But hmm. yeah, that might have been a consequence of the pairing, but that's still pretty good. That yeah. was uh, that was the Russell's Reserve. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is uh, something that I thought we could get into doing was maybe some pairing videos. We have a shitload of whiskey and a shitload <laughs> of cigars. I already have more whiskey than fits in my cabinet. Oh, <laughs> damn the bad luck. Anyway. Uh, so Ashton Cigars. Here's how the Ashton Cigars are to your point of thing. Links up. Ashton Cigars is technically its own separate company. Mm -hmm. However, their partnership with Arturo Fuente Cigars means Arturo Fuente Cigars is making their cigars for them. Uh, it's sort of like what Pappy has become to, to Weller. Okay. In the sense of like what Pappy is now is basically the best barrels of Weller picked out. That's kind of what Ashton is trying to do with Arturo Puente. Okay. 
Uh, obviously, they're they're making custom blends for them too. And this actually is an un uncommon practice. The Leaf by Oscar was very much the same type of scenario initially. I don't know if it still is, but it definitely was to begin with. I'm pretty sure it still is. So that's kind of how their their thing works out. Hmm. It's pretty interesting. Yep. So that was that was a cool thing to learn in the interim. But I I'm at a ten with this cigar. This cigar is fucking amazing. That's where I was at too. Yeah, I I could smoke this cigar for the rest of my life and not be upset about it. Uh, uh, as far as I think I would put this not far underneath my favorite. Yeah, it's I I'd have to sit and think for a minute, but I wouldn't be surprised if this made my top five. It's definitely in my top ten. Yeah. So this is a badass cigar that I definitely recommend you try. It's literally just the Aston Ash Ten Cigars VSG, which stands for Virgin Sun Grown. So solid ten from us. Yep. Till we see you again, I'm Zach. I'm Jake. Mayor of the Beer Roadman. Hey everybody, if you like this video, uh, hit a like or dislike, comment, uh, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you really like what we're doing, uh, check us out over on Facebook where we post every day.